And this is Olive here from Silly Safari Station reporting to you live in our current coronavirus uh, situation. <laughs> uh, we are all out of snacks. This Aww. Easter Sunday, Silly Safaris is giving you the chance to hear from the animals virtually. And joining us live via Skype is our friend Amazon John. I was hoping we would get to see Wofford. There he is. You betcha, you always got to have Wofford. Happy Easter, yeah. everyone. Happy How are Easter. you? We're well. You know, I'm, I was just thinking about this. The last time we saw you and Wofford in person was Super Bowl Sunday with Ruffles the Armadillo. <laughs> That's seemed, right. I mean, so many and things. And he picked that, correctly. He did. He, yes. had, he had ground and beef heart that as day. As he that usually was, does. And I wish that we could be in studio today, but here, you know, we're kind of in, in my office and the way the ceiling is in our little studio, you have to remember to duck. <laughs> <laughs> So, Very okay, nice. so you're celebrating Easter. Tell us what you're doing these days because you have moved virtual. You know, this this whole uh, corona situation definitely has us scrambling because just last month we were, you know, a live animal entertainment company. And then overnight with the schools and the preschools not able to have us, we literally didn't exist as a business anymore. And we're not ones, my whole team, we're not just gonna sit in the corner and cry and complain. We got busy and we knew that we had animals to take care of. So we came up with a whole bunch of internet offerings. The Animal Gram, thanks for playing that. That was Olive talking to you, give me a shout out. We Those are simple Olive. little uh, <laughs> virtual video greeting cards that you can share with anybody. Nana's in the nursing home and I know we can't go visit her today, but you could send a greeting card. We can do virtual birthday parties right here in our fun studio playing games. I don't know if you guys have met the Australian owl to my left here, have you? That's not hooligan. That's not hooligan, no, right? No, he's a boo book owl. It's B-O-O-B-O-O-K, boo -O 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 book owl. He's Australia's smallest and most common owl. His name is Kelly. Kelly Boo Book. <laughs> nice. Hey, John, I know if, uh, our, our viewers know you. They see you in the studio uh, uh, fairly often, but uh, a lot of people may not realize what you're doing most of the time is you're going out and uh, you're visiting places, you're putting on demonstrations, teaching people, uh, a, a lot of kids about the animals. Uh, you're just not able to do that right now. So how can people reach out to you and, and still uh, get some of these even virtual demonstrations and greetings? That's right, and it's a great question. Thanks so much for asking it, Zach. You know, this time that we're going through is definitely a historic time, and we think about all the restaurant owners and the other small business owners. So the best thing to do is simply stay connected. We have our Facebook Live shows that we've been doing every Saturday at 3, and we can still do virtual programs to preschools that are still taking care of all the children for our healthcare workers that are doing the job that we need them to do. We can still connect with those audiences digitally. You know, right now, a lot of summer reading programs are being canceled because the librarians simply don't know where the audience is gonna be. But you guys know at Fox 59, you always have an audience, whether that's through social media or watching you every morning. We love to stay connected with you on the weekends. So it's good to have friends and stay connected. John, you've got just, I wanna say, just a whole staff of animals there. Um, what are some of the uh, videos that you've done? What, who has been featured and who will we see coming up? Yeah, you know, our Facebook Live programs every Saturday have just been a fun way for all of us here on staff. And when I say staff, please know they're all on unemployment insurance now. They're volunteers, but they didn't want to leave the animals and they didn't want to leave you because we know that our audiences want to stay close to us. So uh, we're um, recording virtual programs, because I think that's how a lot of the librarians are gonna be able to take advantage of Silly Safaris this summer. We can connect with preschools, the birthday parties that have all left our calendars for March, April, May, you know, we can still connect virtually. And I hope, as you do too, that there will be a day very, very soon when we can all get back to work, where we can all get back inside. I think if you're uh, my age or maybe a little older, <laughs> you can uh, stay inside. You know, we want to be safe and, and stay healthy, but uh, certainly if you have other uh, conditions, you don't need to be outside. We can stay connected. I'd love to go shopping for somebody who needs a hand, and I can even uh, deliver groceries with an owl, too. How would you like that? I think that's awesome. fantastic. You bring so many smiles, John. Thank you. I can't wait until you can come back in the studio with us. Hey, thank you. Happy Easter. It's the season of renewal. We'll get back together very, very soon. Happy Easter. Everyone look up Silly Safaris online and on social media. As you can hear there, they're still tweeting. And we'll be right back. <laughs>